One and zero the count to Funk. Runners on second and third, one away. Here's the pitch, off speed, off the plate, two and zero now. And if you're Tarleton, you might go on ahead and think it's a good job to be careful with Funk here because if you walk him, then you put the force into into play, which is a great deal simpler to take care of when it comes to home. And yeah, they're going to do just that. The intentional walk will be coming to Keith Funk. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen a lot of crazy things happen with intentional walks, but that one kind of beamed in there for ball three. And it'll be up to Joe Hermson. And that one well outside, so Funk will be aboard. First baseman, Joe Hermson. And Joe did have an RBI double in the early stages of this game. That was in the third inning, seems like forever ago. Joe, he's one for four today, and now he'll be called upon to be the bat that brings the Rattlers back. Base is loaded. That first pitch, slightly outside, and <laughs> man, Schmitz, that, uh, those catcher fundamentals, very, very important right now. And the pressure is on for Schmitz and the rest of this Tarleton State team. Can they hold the Rattlers off in the bottom of the ninth inning? Herm's in ahead in the count, 2-0, as this Rattler faith as the Rattler faithful here in Dixon Stadium are starting to come alive. You gotta be looking fastball here if you're Joe. And he did, but it was outside, 3-0 now. And I think it's obvious here, if you're Joe Hermsen, you don't even think about swinging. You just, as you would put it, Joe, rest the bat on his shoulder. Strike one called. Well, if you're Joe, last two pitches have been fastball. You've gotten a good look at it. You have to wonder if Kelly is confident enough to go to his secondary stuff right here or if Joe Herbson is going to get a third look at the fastball with this pitch. 3-1 pitch, fastball, and ball four. So the run will walk in. The score tied at seven apiece, and it will be up to Brooks Orton to try to walk it off for the Rattlers. The resiliency of this St. Mary's Rattlers team in full display here. They just will not go away, and throughout the entire ball game, the Rattlers have responded to Tarleton State scoring in the top half of the inning. First pitch to Orton outside, 1-0. Brooks Orton, one for four here today. Brooks also the cover athlete of today's game day. <laughs> that pitch at the belt called strike one. That's got to be a relief for Kelly to even it up at 1-1. One one. It may not seem like it, but 1-1, one one, a huge difference from 2-0. and oh. Kelly sets and deals that Ooh. one. And Orton was trying to give that one a ride. A sack fly would do it for the Rattlers. 1-2, and two, though. <laughs> Kelly comes set. Here's the 1-2. Ooh, ooh. And Orton, that one almost hit him. <laughs> I would have walked it off for the Rattlers right there, but reactions. 2-2. Two, two. Here's Kelly. And oh. Orton spoils that one, stays alive. And we'll do 2-2 two and two yet again. Oof. And you can feel the intensity starting to build in this one. Both teams looking for that breakthrough moment. Here's the pitch. 
That one low, it's a full count now. Payoff pitch coming here. If you're the Rattler base runners, your lead has to be minimal right here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing silly can happen. 3-2. Schmitz getting the sign from the dugout. Kelly has walked the last two batters, one intentionally, one not. That one fouled off by Orton. Good job by Orton, able to stay alive in this at bat. And here's the thing about this type of situation. Orton, he doesn't have to be perfect. He can go on ahead, just continue to foul off pitch after pitch. Kelly has to be perfect because one off the plate ends the ball game. And Orton able to foul that one away as well. 3-2 yet again. Pitch number nine of the at-bat upcoming. You can feel the intensity right here. Here's the pitch. That one lifted high into right field. Oh, way back. And that'll do it. Shut it down. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> the Rattlers will walk it off. Off of a Brooks Orton single. He gave that one quite the ride. And that'll do it for the game. St. Mary's able to score two, two steps forward after the one step back in the ninth. And the Texas two step continued yet again. Big win here for the Rattlers as they will shut it down. The Rattlers move to a record of 28 and 13 on the year while Tarleton State will fall to 21 and 17. The winning pitcher will be Rene Solis. <laughs> the easiest win that he'll get on the year. The losing pitcher will be Kelly for Tarleton State. Brian, a Rattler walk-off up and down the emotions of this game. We saw probably the most backyard baseball play of the year that we will see. What, what are your impressions on this game? Oh, an exciting game we saw a little bit of everything and anything S runs being scored on multiple throwing errors uh, the first four innings both teams scoring runs in each of the top and the bottom halves and then for a good stretch great pitching dominated uh, Gary McKenzie doing a terrific job not allowing a single hit during his time on the mound and the Rattlers able to pull one out of their bag of tricks as they're able to walk off in the bottom of the ninth winning two to one great way to bounce back after a disappointing loss to St. Edwards as you mentioned Rattlers improve the record now to 28 and 13 not too shabby for the number 15 team in the nation. Yeah, and it goes back to what we've said about this Rattler team time and time again. They can win games in so many different ways. They can trade blows with you offensively if you want a heavyweight fight or if you want uh, to have more of a defensive approach, then they can do that too with their great pitching. Just the one concern for me today was the six errors, uncharacteristic to say the least, but I'm sure that's something that they'll work out and hopefully it's out of their system now. Some final statistics, Tarleton State scores seven runs on seven hits, they commit three errors. St. Mary scores eight runs on 12 hits, they commit six errors. The winning pitcher, Rene Solis, yet again, We'll be back on and broadcasting tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Rattler Softball will be in action. The number three team in the nation is Rattler Softball. For Brian Maglunio on all of the Rattler Network, I'm Joe Rodriguez. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and as always, take care.